Hey guys, so I'm going to go over an article I was just reading about Microsoft's Edge web browser and what it uh, means for developers, and we'll probably learn a few other things along the way. At Build 2020, which is a Microsoft conference, I guess, the Edge development team announced announces search sidebar collection improvements uh, and profile switching. So there's a bunch of uh, stuff for clients. The default web browser that comes with Windows have made, has made big strides in the past year. Microsoft made the decision to stop producing its own rendering code and instead use a Chromium code that most web developers target these days. It paid off. So let me just comment on that. So prior to Edge making this change, where they use the, basically the uh, engine that Chrome uses to process uh, the HTML, the CSS, the JavaScript. Uh, Edge used to have their own, and that would create all kinds of problems with compatibility. They would have bugs, and it would be inconsistent with the bugs that Chrome had, et cetera, et cetera. Now, the significance of this is that the Chrome engine Chrome uses, the Chromium engine is called uh, Safari uses that. I think even uh, Firefox uses it. So now that Microsoft decided to use it with Edge, we don't have to, as web developers or designers, have to worry about whether or not our code is going to be compatible with Edge or Chrome or Firefox. It's all the same. To give you a little backup story, one of the traditional big problems for any type of web designer or developer was that the different web browsers, Firefox, Chrome, Edge, Internet Explorer, Safari, et cetera, going back. Uh, they all had different uh, ways of processing the code. They weren't 100% consistent. So you would have to do all these hacks and you have to check, okay, if the guy's using uh, Microsoft Edge, you render the CSS like this. And if they're using Chrome, do it like this. You get the idea. So now that Microsoft has implemented the Chromium engine, that makes life a lot easier. Mm. So what happens? Okay, let me just continue. Okay, so it paid off. Usage share has risen after a long period of floundering before the change. But Microsoft wasn't interested in simply putting out a house-branded version of Chrome. Instead, offering innovations in appearance, function, and privacy. The first stable release appeared in January 15, 2020. At Build 2020, Microsoft announced some appealing new features for end users and developers, including updates to collections, uh, on-page search improvements to the browser's extension core, and automatic profile switching. Microsoft Kyle Puflug, principal PM lead for, the, uh, for Edge Developer, gave a talk at this year's online build conference covering all the new capabilities. I'll touch on the high points with an emphasis on end user features below. Well, I'm not gonna emphasize that. This is from PreCMag. I'll put a link in the, the uh, under the video so you have this. Uh, so they got a bunch of stuff in here. I wanted to jump into the developer tools. Here we go for us developers. Uh, Build is definitely a developer show. So of course, Paflug, I don't even know if I'm saying his name right, was eager to highlight new capabilities for coders. The first one he mentioned was WebView 2, which isn't actually about the browser itself, but about developers' ability to use all the browser's code in their Windows apps. The previous version of WebView was tied to Windows version, to, to the Windows version, while WebView 2 is decoupled and works anywhere Edge does. Edge's new PWA, Progressive Web App, capabilities impact both developers and users. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I have been a big advocate of uh, PWA for uh, mobile development uh, rather than native development. I think uh, it's just going to get more and more capable as things go on. And here's more proof. Anyway, when we go on... Um, Edge's, Edge's new PWA capabilities impact both developers and users. These are basically websites that you can treat as apps. Using the menu option, apps install this site as an app. The story with progressive web apps is always about how can we close the gap as much as possible with the experience that users have 
native apps on their device. Have with native apps would be a better way of saying it. Anyway, updates aimed to at accomplishing this include letting you manage settings for PWAs in Windows, in Windows settings. Oh, that's cool. So you can manage PWA settings right in Windows, installing from the browser start screen and share sheet capabilities, both sharing out and receiving shares from Windows standard share sheet. This makes a lot of sense given how many modern apps are web first. Origin trials in this new service available to edge programmers announced at this year's build. It lets them turn on experimental browser features for a portion of their users for a set period of time. Participation in the program can influence the final release features. Uh, Origin Trials is a new service available to Edge programmers. All right. How to get Edge and the new features. The new Edge will roll out to all Windows users over the next few weeks to be immediately upgraded to the current stable release. Head to the Microsoft Edge download page where you'll find the installer not only for Windows 10, but also for the three previous Windows versions, as well as for Mac OS, iOS, and Android. So there you go. Uh, once again, we're, gonna, we're seeing now Microsoft uh, starting to go out there and uh, use its power to make uh, building PWAs uh, easier and better. They want to close that gap. So I think a lot of people, a lot more people, are going to be leaning towards PWA development uh, simply because uh, the gap between native and PWA is shrinking. All right, I hope you found this interesting. Bye-bye.